Every year, over 1.5 million young people in Nigeria sit for the West African Senior Secondary School Certificate Examination. About the same number also sit for the Joint Admissions Matriculation Board Examination. This means there is competition for space. This competition is one of the reasons for the high rate of examination malpractice in the country. In this investigation, Banjo Damilola, under the name of Grace Adebiga, visited Bashel Secondary School, Ogba, to expose the cases of examination malpractice and flagrant disregard for the laws of the land by students, teachers, staff of the school, and WAEC officials. Grace Adebiga is a 25-year-old rice seller who wants to get tertiary education. She wants to write WAEC and JAM in order to get into the University of Lagos. Relying on underground information, she found a miracle center at Bachel College. Grace paid huge money to get into Bachel for JAM and WAEC. She paid 74,000 Naira for WAEC, 49,000 for the exam, and a mandatory 5,000 Naira lesson fee for three months, totaling 15,000 Naira. She also paid 50,000 for JAM. Invariably, her quest will cost her 124,000 Naira, excluding other add-ons on the different days of each exam. This shows the huge extortion by the school. Everyone in the school plays a part in this malpractice. From the gate man, to the teachers. There are three key characters in Bachelor School, as observed by Grace. Auntie Fumi is a teacher in the school, but when it comes to WAEC exams, she is the chief overseer. Mr. Adeomi, also a teacher, solves all questions and makes sure they are available for the students as early as possible. Mr. Adeniro is the one that handles the external invigilators and supervisors. On each day of the exam, everyone knows their job and carry it out dutifully. They make sure the system is fluid. Grace observed that the external examination officials are also actively involved in this charade. She observed that the same supervisor came on that day for civic education and government, and on both days, the man collected a fat envelope after the day's business. Another female official even requested for a plate of amala, a local dish. On some other days, the school officials are faced with difficult external supervisors and have to beg to have their way. On one of those days, the day for mathematics, they almost got caught.
And the woman that came immediately that came, they started picking questions. They said, you know something you need to give me. I don't know your problem. If you don't know what to get into, why go on the way, throw it away. And don't be here here with people question with her. The West African Examination Council has outlawed external students from writing the May-June exam by creating another one solely for external candidates. But here at Bashel, the story continues. Grace is an external student and she sat for the May-June exam alongside four others. And after paying the huge fee, she made her papers. Grace had also registered for JAM with Bashel, but it was difficult to cheat with the new systems put in place by the board. The board now operates a computer-based exam, which makes it increasingly difficult to beat the system. Grace scored 238 in the 2019 JAM exam. This investigation is supposed to get Grace to the University of Lagos. She sat for the 2019 University of Lagos post me exam, but scored 18. She has spoken to an agent who promised to help her secure admission through the back door. I paid them, I, I, I'm supposed to pay them 18. So I paid 15 to them, hey, yes. For the upgrade and everything, I gave them 15. Now after when I see the old, I don't have to pay them. So now they're not asking for the balance, the balance. So again, and I've seen everything. So yeah. Uh, but that was not what you told me for the upgrade before now. Maybe you said that 50k was for machinery. Machinery, and I, I said the machinery or upgrading. And when the machinery does not work out, you have to go for the upgrading. So you get it. You have to stop for the upgrading. So yeah. And after paying several amounts, it became apparent that she was just being extorted and would not get the admission. So she backed out. I'm okay. We're on, we're going to need, we need more, more money. I'm not going to lie for you. And you know, what did they happen now? You know, tell me what did they happen. Just a... Nothing. No, no. I'm not going to confide in me. They did that. 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 They Okay. So we got to talk one or two things now. But the name, the name, the name, the name, the name, the you just need some one or two to go just run and walk and say yes. See, I don't understand. Like what do we, hello, yeah, what do we need to start? Just talk to me in plain terms now. No, 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 no. I don't say, if I want, don't need to wait for you. No, 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 no worry. See me. I don't saw the name one. Say yes. But I don't need some one or two to chat. I wish you just did name. One or two. One or two to chat. That's for my own part. For my own angle. Say yes. When admission leads to the Maybe next month. I don't understand what's going on again. I swear. Nothing is going on. Me. I told you to calm down. Ah, I like you are Ah. And now you are saying just one or two things. They are not telling me the one or two things. How am I supposed to? That one or two things uh, is from my own angle, not from your own angle. Hey, yes, I just need more cash for them, that's why. Damilola had tried to get Bashel officials to make a statement concerning this investigation, but all calls and text messages to the owner of the school, Mr. Fasushi Ayokunle, had proved abortive, as they were not answered nor returned. In order to get the name of the complicit officials, Damilola, through the Civic Media Lab, sent an FOI request to the West African Examinations Council to get the list of all officials on duty during the exams. It has been over three months and there has not been any response from the examinations body. Reacting to the investigations, Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Education in Lagos State, Mrs. Abosedi Adilaja, gave a strong statement that schools in the state caught in the act would be seriously dealt with. There is zero tolerance in the state to examination of practice as of today. And by the grace of God, any any schools will be sanctioned.